did some battles now. Back at one in the corner. Can you talk about that decision? Uh, that's a, that must have been a mistake somewhere. Yeah. Saying, so it's Robinson and Mike Daniels right now are the two stars in the corner. Oh, okay. So, it's on the depth chart. Yeah. That's one of the tour that was there. Gibby, you may just discuss that, but in trying to improve run defense, is it technique, personnel? What is it you guys need to do better? Tackle. Tackle? That's, uh, if you look last week, yeah, I guess that's what you're referring to. Mm -hmm. There were two runs that went over 120 yards, and we misfit a gap, and then the other one we had about eight guys miss a tackle, so that's the biggest problem right now for run defense. So do you, how do you practice to improve that? I mean, because you're, you're not allowed to hit a whole lot. But we tackled, uh, we tackled defensively last week, two days. So we did that. We did live drills uh, during our individual. We obviously hit scout team guys, but we still uh, we still worked a bunch of it. And, you know, guys need to obviously play with better effort. We need to wrap up. Tackling is all about want to. So it looked like our guys didn't want to last week. Any changes along the do line? Yeah, I mean, we just said we had to play more guys. I mean, Lamont McDougall played really well a week ago, so he would get rewarded by playing a lot more. And, you know, we have to have those guys step up. So we knew it was a concern coming into the season. And four games in is still a concern. But, you know, we need to get it fixed. And, uh, that way we have to have guys that, uh, and not only D line, I mean, it's all over the board. You know, is it all catching up so many young guys, so many first time guys? I don't know, but like, we can't use that for an exclusive guy. I mean, that he's got to need, to need to step up or start playing. He needs to do a better job of coaching. He will play a lot. Uh, right now, I think, you know, this, this stuff changes daily, and, I, and I'm not just giving you a kind of uh, general answer here. I mean, it's a true. But if he goes out and doesn't have two good days, his rates will be cut. And, you know, so, and that's kind of the process of where we're at. We don't have 11 guys right now that I feel comfortable and confident in to saying you're our starters and then just kind of let them coast in the week where we're not that good right now. So, Every day's a competition in every position. And probably the guy when you look overall that and looking back and a lot of time to watch film and he's missing tackles but Al. Al's probably uh, I mean if we don't have Al, who knows how many yards can this rush is for. It seems like he made every tackle. So, you know, it's a uh, it's disheartening at time to, to Watch and look at that film and think, wow, how did we get to this point? What trait drives McDougal? Uh, yeah, they, they, he's a competitive kid. I mean, he, he loves to play football. So we knew that when we recruited him. He he has a little bit of an attitude about him. He's got some, he's got a mean streak about him. And obviously, his dad was a first round draft pick, so it's in his bloodline. How about uh, this TCU offense and the differences you're seeing, whether it's Kenny Hill or the way that he's utilizing the offense? Yeah, another uh, another year experience for him being in the system. And he's got two great running backs behind him, three really. Uh, 21, 6, and 33 are all really good players. He's got weapons on the outside. His offensive line is big and experienced. So, you know, they have, they have a lot of guys back. I mean, you turn on the film from a year ago and you turn on this year and it's all the same guys that are making plays. It's not like there's anybody new stepping in and, and doing so. So these, these guys have, have played together and, and they're doing a really good job. So the run game is, is really good for them right now and, and he has weapons everywhere outside. What about these done twice? Are they going to be playing? Coach Carrier! I hope so. I hope so. And, you know, it's it's almost – that's why people want to know who's starting, who's doing this, who the hell, whoever can dress and come out of the locker room and say, we're going to play with you know, we'll draw straws right for a kick or whatever. We need 11, so I'm going to have to find 11 healthy ones and send it out.